How did you meet your wife? We lived next door to each other. And had to get out there and you know, flirt a little. <laughs> Her brother didn't like me. But we managed to pull through and got married. And if I tell you the team like yesterday, I'd be lying to you. The first seven years are hardest. <laughs> what it means to be an American is freedom. I don't believe the American dream. I think it is hard to be an Asian in America today. Your Fellow Americans is a project asking questions about race, immigration, and the American dream. We're just trying to figure out what it means to be American for as many different folks as possible. In December of 2014, your fellow Americans joined three generations of a Mexican-American family around the dinner table to discuss race, immigration, and the American dream. What would you say you carried from your culture or the Latino experience? What would you say you carried into the family? The religion. The religion was important. <laughs> One of the things I grew up believing in the household was uh, community service and the, and the importance of kind of getting out and helping others. Today, as a part of kind of carrying on that tradition with my children, uh, my children are here with their confirmation class. and. Uh, so not only are they kind of experiencing some of the spiritual aspects of it, they're also experiencing some of the giving back. I always tell them every day, all we really have is to give. And, uh, and they need to understand what that really means. Uh, they're blessed in a lot of ways that I can give them opportunities that, you know, that some others don't have. So we try our best to give you you know, what this country can afford to give you, what this country offers you, it's really up to you, opportunities. But again, like I said, education brings what? It brings to you the means to think about everything that is around you. Amen. That's, that's yeah. the movement of when, when I think about their generation, um, all they ever wanted for us is education. I mean, they and felt I totally like, agree. And so, right. I was so love. as we move through the <laughs> you know, generations, for me, it was the education was more important well, than, it's than a, cooking the food and all those uh, things. It's because uh, we don't have a chance to finish a school, even to do a primary. I never finished a primary. American dream I was that I got to get education, be go to a school, but I never can do that over here because you know my uncle and my aunt they didn't even know read or, or write. So to them that was uh, important, the education. After that I get married and all my dreams was to give my family what I can have it. They get education, they help us, and it was hard because we have to work hard, but we did it. The way I don't worry for nobody, than my sons or my daughter, because I know that they are doing well. They don't need us anymore. We help whatever we can. And now we happy to see everybody happy. And as I think of my dream, American dream is satisfied, satisfied. Or what was your American dream? Exactly the same. What was it? Educate, provide the best you can, and hope to turn out good. Good people. 
So my American dream uh, really centers a lot around, I think, what you, um, what my parents and grandparents taught me, which is the opportunity that we have here in this country. And it stems around, I think, for us, the importance of family and to um, the importance of the education and the education system that we have here that does allow for us to create an, an outlet for my kids to go further than I could, could ever imagine. I identify the American dream as for myself is I want a good education and being able to, to do the things that I want, like doing the job that I want and raising the family that I want and all of that. I can't give a definition of American dream because I might, they might not want what I want, such as they probably don't want to finish college or finish school. They probably just want to go straight into a job or something like that. So they might not want everything that I want in my life. My American dream would be to get the best education that I feel I can possibly get, which hopefully is to graduate college and do other things besides that. Another major one is I really want to take advantage, uh, take advantage and try to take advantage of all the possible opportunities that I have and that I will receive because I feel like I'm going to receive a lot and I feel I need to take advantage of those type of opportunities. And the third major American dream is to hopefully try to fully understand and have a sense of who I am and my in the Hispanic uh, culture and the Hispanic background. I think how it plays at home is I, I, I realize what my children are saying in regard to why didn't you? Why didn't you teach us the language? Why didn't you uh, bring in the culture? I do regret not giving it to them at an, at an earlier age. The difficult part is the larger community that's still unaccepting. I admire your American dream, but I also believe that there will be those out there that will try to deny you from attaining your American dream, Julian. And as much as we want to believe that everyone is kind oh, yeah. in heart, or be those, but you're strong-willed, and I believe you'll succeed in your American dream. The question is, is who do you take with you on that journey to your American dream? You know, we, we have to appreciate the opportunities we have to attain that dream, but we have to pull with us those who have less opportunities than what you have. We all want the same thing, the opportunity. That's the reason your parents came, and that's the reason your parents came. Yeah. And what I find interesting is they're going to even be given more opportunity, but I'm afraid it's going to be with the loss yeah. of their culture. It's easier. It's easier uh, to lose your culture, lose your language, in order to be part of mainstream or majority. What El Centro believes is really that we embrace the culture and the language so you don't have to lose who you are and, and be an American. How do your education and culture impact the opportunities available to you? Are those opportunities worth the cost they come by? And how do you act towards those who haven't paid that price? Let's talk about it. Comment below or visit kcpt.org slash yourfellowamericans.